Posts on Tucker Cipriano's Facebook page show a mix of support and questions. Why, Tucker, why, wrote one friend, you promised me you were changing. Another wrote, we all know you aren't a monster. One supporter wrote, Tucker, you are the man. To which Greg Cipriano wrote, this is Tucker's uncle Greg. I dare you to come to Botsford Hospital, where I will escort you into the rooms where his brother and mother cling for their lives, so you can witness the devastation he has caused. Meantime, we're learning more about both Tucker and his friend Mitchell Young, both accused of the savage beating of Tucker's family, which left Tucker's dad dead and his mom and brother in critical condition. Mitchell went by the nickname Roderick and worked as a waiter at New Cedar Restaurant in Farmington. Both had been staying at the Park Motel in Farmington off and on for several weeks until about a month ago. Mitchell, I felt sorry for him because he looked very distraught. He said he was homeless. He had been sleeping in his truck. He was working as a waiter. And I just saw that they were a victim of the teenage drug scene. Manager Cindy Franklin says the two were too young to rent a room, so others did it for them. She says both were well-mannered and polite, paid the $40 nightly fee, but often she had to kick them out because they brought over too many friends. I've seen quite a few different types of people come through here, and they appear to be raised by, well, by good families. You can tell them the ones that are well-mannered, the ones that have respect. Friends have told Action News Tucker struggled with being adopted. And on Tucker's Facebook page, he wrote, Never had a dad, never had a mom. Fought my brothers till it scared me. He had dreams, though, writing in March, Chillin', thinking about life. Who I am going to meet? Where am I going to go? Where I'm going to end up? But for now, just have fun and enjoy life. And despite being kicked out of his house, it appears he still maintained a relationship with his family. His father, Bob, posting just two and a half weeks ago, Happy birthday, son, call me. And his mom, Rose, posting, Tucker, I tried texting and calling you. Grandma has a birthday present for you. Call me. Love, Mom. Coming up at 6, we'll take a look at some new court documents that show the potential list of witnesses in the case and the documents prosecutors want provided. In Farmington Hills, Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News. Yes,